Welcome back to another sweetest vlog. My name is Allie and I make two girly fun videos a week. So if you're into that, you should subscribe, join the girly community. But today, let me tell ya. All right, so today is Sunday and I actually feel like going out and doing things. Usually Sundays are really lazy for me, but I got myself together. My hair is nasty. We're gonna do an oil treatment tonight because she is due. She's just a little crusty right now. I haven't washed her in over a week, but we'll do that later. But for now, I really wanna go to an antique mall. I just feel like it's just kind of the vibe right now. It's just like, I don't know, it's just like a, a slow, snowy, cloudy day and I feel like it'd be really comforting to go to like an antique shop or something. I also wanna thrift and a lot of the places don't open till noon. I think it's around like 11.30 right now. So let's go bop around. Let's go see what antiques we can find. I'm mainly looking for kind of like pictures or wall decor for the new office and my bathroom. And look what came in. We got my big mirror delivered. She is, I think, 65 inches tall, so I am 5'3", so that means I'm like 63 inches. So this is like a full body mirror for me, and I really like it. And I like that it has this back to it, so I don't have to bolt it to the wall. But I'm trying to like see what the best positioning is, because whenever I take my selfies, I want the paper to be shown, but I also need good lighting. So fun out here. I <laughs> out in this store I got a couple cute things I'll show you when I get back home but I'm gonna go to this antique mall and I feel like this might be helpful if you are wanting to get it into antiquing and create more of a shabby chic space for yourself I wrote down like a list of things that I look for while antiquing because I know it can be a little overwhelming when you step into there and it's just so hard to see a vision so the things I look for while antiquing are hat boxes mirrors anything with a bow baskets, vases, candlestick holders, old books. I love looking for old vintage frames or even if they have like a vintage print and it has a gold frame, that's even better. So just like taking your time and seeing the vision. I also really like looking at old china wear, like china plates, anything with the floral design. I stay away from dark colors, it's just not my vibe. I'm all about the pastels, whites, creams, so that is my tip. antiquing and thrifting I found this little like jar bowl it's glass and has floral designs and a bow with a bouquet of flowers so cute I love collecting these little things because I like to put my jewelry in them and I have these like set all like around the house I have them on my dresser on my bedside in the bathroom they just add a very cute vintage feminine touch and then I found these really pretty floral little bowls pretty self-explanatory but I thought they were just so pretty I have no idea what purpose this thing serves but I thought it was so pretty I think I'm just gonna hang it up on the wall and create more of like a uh, a wall collage things of all the antiques that I, or things that I've thrifted but I'm like I just can't pass her up she's gold and white and pastels and has a heart I don't know it's just random but I thought she was so cute okay at first I saw this and I was like, is that cute or is that weird? And then the more I looked at it, the more I loved it because these hats have like little bows and flowers. I'm like, that's perfect for my little shabby chic closet. Okay, so on to the things that I found at the antique mall. I found this beautiful hat box. 
so cute i love anything that gives me an extra space ah, space of storage so she opens up and you just put like random things in there that you just don't want to be shown out in the open i love hat boxes so much and i thought she was so unique and then i died when i found this i literally screamed omg are you joking a freaking pink bow with a bowl shabby chic design so cute i found this vendor vendor and they had all of these um i don't know like kitchenware things like plates and cups with the same design and i freaked out and i had to like really control myself not to buy the whole thing like everything so this is a heart-shaped thing they had so many of these little heart-shaped dishes but i got only one and then the pink bow and then I also found this really beautiful basket. I've never seen a basket like this. And I love how tall it is because I can put, like I can hide things in it that I don't want to be seen. But she has such pretty detail. And that is all that I got. What you doing, Mac? Are you just so sleepy from watching the birds this morning? Here's another little update. Maddie came over and built this console for us. That was so freaking sweet and it looks so good. She's a little scratched up. So I'm gonna try and find some like touch up paint, but I think it makes the place so much cozier and cottagey and I think it's perfect. So I'm gonna also have to find a, a little thing to hide that ugly wire. All right, it is noon right now. I'm about to make some lunch, break my fast, and then we're gonna go over to Lowe's and we're gonna try and find the perfect pink, pink color for my office so we can finish the office, hang up the pictures, and make it just super girly and shabby chic. Here's the paint color I ended up choosing. It is called Art Deco Pink by Valsper. And I'm actually really excited because I think it'll look really perfect with it. I actually just went with my gut and this was like the first pink that I noticed. And I'm like, you know what? We're gonna go for it or else I will be here for like five hours de deciding which pink to use. Here is the wall fully painted on the edges. I took off the tape and it actually turned out so well. I feel like the paint could have been a little bit darker, but I think it still matches really well. And then I put my antiques over here. I'm gonna wait until I get some command strips to hang the rest because I don't wanna keep putting holes in the wall. And plus, I think I'm gonna get the Velcro sticky ones because they hold up to like 15 pounds. But I think it looks so cute and whimsical. I just have these things sitting here for now. And there is my nail stuff. And then I put my bird cage. And then it's just the new basket and hat box. And then over here, I, I don't think I changed anything actually. I did not change anything, but I think she still looks really pretty. And I put some ribbon 
hanging right here because it was originally hanging right here. But yes, oh, the other addition. This new pink bow, little Tupperware, glassware, whatever, <laughs> bowl, is going to be my new ribbon storage. And I think she looks so pretty. So between you and me, I am no longer really using my Instagram. I'll get on there a few times throughout the day just to like check on like certain people that I'm like, you know, friends with or internet friends with. But I just have no joy, no joy attached to Instagram at all. I am tired of like thinking about posting pictures and captions and stories and I just like, I'm very over it. So I'm just, retired from Instagram for now and I use Tumblr a lot. So if you have like if you want to like talk to me or reblog pictures or like message whatever, follow me on Tumblr. It is sugarmooncottage.tumblr.com. I love it. There is no pressure there. There is no competition. It's literally just people posting pictures. I post a lot of my own pictures, like pictures that I would be posting to my Instagram story. I'm posting now to my Tumblr. And I have like a page, like tags filled with all my pictures. If you go to my Tumblr, you'll be able to see it. But I, it brings me so much more inspiration and joy being on Tumblr. And I was a, an original Tumblr girl back in 2012. Not to brag or anything. But thank you so much for watching this vlog. I love you. And I will see you in a few days.